How to dry run an Ansible playbook? The check and diff modes are extremely useful to have a clear vision about the changes that are going to be performed on the target node. I'm going to show you a live demo with some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Burton and welcome to today's episode of Ansible Pilot. How to dry run an Ansible playbook? Sometimes you need to deep dive your Ansible playbook to validate any changes on the target node. It is useful to validate the code and have a clear vision about the single Ansible task or Ansible playbook outcome. Let's explore the two modes, check and diff that you could enable via ansible-playbook command or at the task level in your Ansible playbook. This mode can be used separately or together. The check mode is just a simulation. It's great to validate the Ansible playbook without performing any action on the target machine. The diff mode reports the changes made for any module that support the diff mode. It's common to combine together the two mode dash dash check dash dash diff in order to simulate the execution and have a full report of changes and increase the execution verbosity. Demo time. How to dry run an Ansible playbook with the check and diff mode. I'm going to show you the outcome of the check and diff mode on an Ansible playbook with a simple task to enable the SSH login for root on a configuration file. I'm going to show you the exact output on screen and how it modify or not the target system. Are you excited? Let's move it on to our demo. Welcome to my editor. Let's see together an Ansible playbook to modify the SSH configuration. First of all, let's start with a play name root login enable. Sounds a good one. That is going to be executed on host all on my inventory and I need a root privilege to perform any modification, so become true. Let me disable facts gathering because I don't need uh, system information from this system. Ok, let's start the task list, only one. Mm. Let's name it accordingly, ssh permit root login, here we go. Uh, we need to modify a text file, so we need ansible.builtin.lining file module that uh, is useful to modify only one line in a text file. So the destination file will be slash etc slash ssh slash sshd underscore config. This is the configuration file of a ssh daemon. Ok, let's uh, find out with a regular expression, ok, online that uh, start with uh, permit root login, this is the exact parameter name for SSH server. Ok, so uh, single quote uh, is better, ok, uh, so we are looking for all the lines that start with permit root login and we are going to substitute with a single line that will be permit root login space yes. And that's it. This state must be present because we would like this line to be present on our target system and just in case of any modification we are going to trigger the SSH restart handler with a notify statement. Ok, now we need to Define also our handlers area, only one named SSH restart. But guess what it, it does? Exactly, it is going to restart the SSH daemon. We need uh, 
Ansible built-in service module. The name of the service is sshd, is a daemon, and the state must be restarted. And here we are. We have an Ansible playbook that is going to verify the parameter permit root login in the configuration file and uh, if any modification happen, it will restart the service accordingly. This is a pretty standard approach. And now let's move on to the terminal. Welcome to my terminal. First of all, let me connect to my demo machine and verify the parameter in my SSH uh, configuration file. So let me connect via SSH DevOps' username at demoexample.com. This is a standard machine that uh, I just installed. So let me verify with sudo, okay, with less the slash etc slash SSH sshd underscore config file. We need a sudo privilege because only root can access this configuration file of SSH. So let me find permit root login and as we can see there are two lines that matches this expression. One is commented with yes but the enable one is with no. So at the moment the root is not allowed to connect. This is a good practice also for security, by the way. So let me disconnect from this system and try to run my Ansible playbook. Okay, let me specify the Ansible playbook command with dash e my inventory file and the name of my Ansible playbook. In my case, enable root login. So first of all, we are going to see together the check mode. So let me add to the normal command line the dash dash check command. In this way we are only doing a simulation of execution. So as you can see Ansible report two changes but actually it didn't perform any action on the target node. So let me connect to the demo machine and check it out with a symbol grep. So let me search with a regular expression permit root login under the configuration file. And as you can see, permit root login is still a no. So the playbook recap was only a simulation because we specify the check parameter. This is a sort of dry run of our Ansible playbook. Okay, now let's have more fun. So let me disconnect and add not only the check option, the check mode, but let's add also the dash dash diff mode. In this way, we are going not to modify the target host, but also having this very nice report that is easy to understand from everybody, we are going to remove one line from the configuration file and add a new one. As you can see, the removed one is marked in red and the new one is marked in green. So this is exactly what Ansible is supposed to do. But does it... He has modified the file? Well, we didn't expect. We specify check mode. So in this way, this is a safe option that uh, allow us to double check the, the operation but actually not editing the file and as you can see the file was untouched. Now let's have more fun. Let's execute only the diff mode. So as we didn't mention the check mode, we're expecting a change on the target system. So let me remove the check mode and uh, leave it only the diff mode. The diff mode only increases the reporting of changes, so we are going to see the red and green line, yes, and actually modifying the target system. So if I'm connecting again, this time it should report a yes under the line, yay! So exactly as expected. Now you can mix it up, check and diff mode to troubleshoot and debug the, your Ansible playbook. Yay! Great result! 
Now you know how to dry run an Ansible playbook using the check and diff Ansible mode. This way are very useful when you troubleshoot or debug your Ansible code. Thank you for watching, I hope this lesson was useful for you, feel free to re see again and see us on the next adventure of Ansible Pilot and have a great day, bye! This video is part of our Ansible automation program, sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun!